In this video, I'm going to be making a nuclear intercontinental ballistic missile. In Minecraft. Now, nukes have actually been in vanilla Minecraft for a really long time. And what they look like is a bit like this. This is the design for the smallest TNT nuclear missile. But don't be fooled by its size, because when it goes off, it does some serious damage. Now clearly that is one really powerful weapon, but there's also one huge issue with it. In order for this thing to hit anything, it has to have a perfect line of sight with the target. If there's anything in the way... Oh. Oh wow, I, was, I, I didn't think it would do that. There we go. If there's anything in the way, then as you can see, it's just gonna run into it and explode before it reaches its intended target. Now of course the opposite is also true, if you accidentally release it too high into the air, then it's not gonna hit anything, and it's just gonna go cruising off into the clouds, wasting a whole ton of TNT minecarts. So unless you plan on hitting a sky base or something, then it's really not gonna do you a whole lot of good. So in order to solve that, we need a flying machine that can travel diagonally, and luckily there is one that exists that does exactly that. This is a design for diagonally traveling flying machine engine by Omango. It's thanks to him that this video is possible because I would have had absolutely no idea how to do this myself. If you want to see more about how the diagonal flying machine engine works, the link to the original design video will be in the description. Now what's really interesting about this design is that it normally moves diagonally, however when it comes across a vertical wall like this, it begins to climb it. So in order for this ICBM to work, what I want to do is climb a really high vertical distance, and then start moving diagonally downwards towards the target. So that could be done fairly simply by just having the flying machine climb a giant wall of furnaces or obsidian or some other removable object, but that would really give away the location of the person who's actually sending the missiles. So I came up with a better solution. So what I did here is have a second flying machine that goes up at the same speed as our first one, so that it's constantly forcing it to go vertically. When this hits build limit, the diagonal flying machine will stop moving first, and the other flying machine will continue moving until it is able to update the diagonal one, making it go diagonally downwards. The flying machine will travel diagonally a couple hundred blocks until eventually getting stuck to the ground. So now we need to address the elephant in the room, because a lot of you are probably wondering by now, Maurum, this thing's a nuke, where are the explosions at? And you see, getting this thing to explode has been one of the biggest challenges I have genuinely faced on this channel so far. I've been trying for the past week to get this thing to explode when it hits the ground, and I've had very little luck. I did eventually come up with something that does seem to work, but oh my goodness, it has been difficult. So let me show you exactly why it hasn't been working and what I've tried. So ordinarily how TNT missiles work is there's a piece of TNT that is not directly attached to the flying machine by slime blocks, so that when the flying machine runs into a wall, then it's going to get compressed into the rest of the machine and ignite it. Unfortunately, this method doesn't quite work with a diagonally traveling flying machine, as if a block is not directly attached to the machine, it's just going to get left behind. So what I had to do was come up with a system that can move both vertically and horizontally and only power when it hit the ground, which is a lot easier said than done. Luckily though, this specific type of flying machine has a special feature that when it touches the ground, it'll start scooting across the ground like this, which I think honestly looks really funny, it's kind of like a two-headed scorpion running across the ground. So my first solution was a system a bit like this that would scoot across the ground until it came across a certain type of wall that would look a little bit like this. And then eventually, the observer would run into it and it would power the TNT. However, I decided against using the system just because the odds of it running into a block formation that looked exactly like this in the exact right position were extremely low. So my first thought was to add a system a bit like this that would scoot along the ground until it eventually came across a wall, and then it would power the TNT. This does work if your enemy's base happens to be made out of note blocks. Unfortunately, this wouldn't work in most settings, as if it comes across just an ordinary wall, it's not going to explode. With nothing else working, I came up with this weird idea of having it pull up blocks from the ground and then powering it. And yeah, this idea, you see, actually worked. And so, here we have what I believe is Minecraft's first nuclear ICBM. Let's launch it off. So as you can see, when it reaches build limit, it's going to stop moving momentarily, and then the second stage is going to kick it off and send it moving diagonally downwards. So as you can see, as the flying machine approaches the ground, it'll start creating ghost blocks apparently, but it'll start lifting up blocks, which will detonate the TNT, eventually detonating the TNT minecarts, and as you can see, the place where the missile was launched from is completely out of render distance. 